morning we're down Langdale again today we've parked up at Stickle Gill car park near the new Dungeon Gill hotel and we currently heading up the right hand side of Stickle Gill Gill's just to the left of me here The sun's just rising down Langdale there. There's a bit of an inversion. And as you can see, heading up the gill towards Pervy Arc, it's pretty bleak. Hopefully it'll clear. There's the rock star sitting patiently, watching the sunrise. one of them days where we could encounter absolutely anything up on the tops at the moment like I say we've got a bit of a shower on and it's claggy where we're heading it also looks a little bit white so it could be snowing up there behind us we've got an inversion and glorious sunrise could even freeze because the temperature is only about Freezing point now. So yeah, it could be interesting. Could be a bit slippy up there once we start getting into some height. Stickle Gill still to the left of me. And up there in the clag Paviac. It's a bit of a slog up Stickle Gill. There's a couple of little bits of scrambly sections just to be aware of. A little higher up we're going to cross over the beck. We're not too far from Stickle Tarn now. The path crosses the gill just here where these big stepping stones are. Bill is already over there. Starting again a bit of a scent now. Stickle Tarn, I think, is about 450, 460 meters. The rain is starting to turn to sleet. We've got to cross the river again here to get us back on the path over the other side. Stickle Tarn. And the blue sky day we were promised hasn't happened yet. Jack's Rake's just up there on Pavey Arc. Technically it's not a hard scramble but it's a very, very dangerous place. And certainly no place for a dog. We're going to head up the path to the left of the tarn in the direction of Harriston Stickle. Walk to the left hand corner of the town and then the footpath starts rising up. Harriston Stickle. The rock star's got his winter gear on. Prepared for anything, Billy lad, aren't we? We 
were promised a blue sky day today but the snow's coming on quite heavy now I'm almost certain a few people will have planned to go up Jack's Rake the pitched path is getting treacherously slippy so it's time to get something more grippy on my feet The path tops out in the call between Pavey Arc to our right and Harrison Stickle to our left. We're going to head up to Harrison Stickle and then we'll see where we get. The weather is trying its hardest to clear. In a bit of blue sky. The town below us is looking beautiful. That's the way we came up. The path's almost pitched all the way a lot of spaniel owners will have suffered the problem of the dogs hair balling up in weather like this when it's not too cold and the snow's soft spaniels are notoriously difficult to keep snow free as you can see with Billy the Border Collie is the perfect dog they never ball up and for some reason the snow never sticks to them does it Billy? a friend of mine with a Springer Cross Cocker Spaniel the snow was so bad on a paws and feet and legs that he literally had to cut it off with a pair of scissors he had in his pack that same day Billy never had a problem that's us in the call between Pavey Arc to our right and Harrison Stickle to our left so we're going to turn left and head for Harrison Stickle the weather briefly cleared then but came back in kind of sharpish I'm almost certain it should clear later on but I'm almost uh, <laughs> sure you'll have heard me say that before Looks like we're trailblazing a bit, there's no one being up on this path today There's a cairn there Harrison Stickle Summit, 736 metres. It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, and a Nuttall. 
what's the highest point so I'm going to take that as the summit wow look at the light up here it's absolutely beautiful across the valley in the direction of Cold Pike and Pike of Blisco and somewhere over there where we were last week the Crinkles and Bowfell so from Harrison Stickle I'm going to drop back down into the call and head over to Pike of Stickle there's a big cairn here in the call and there in the clag in the abyss is Pike of Stickle we're going to lose a chunk of ascent to get over there so we've just dropped down into the collier and my plan today I think is to take that traverse path up onto Pike of Stickle and then back across that ridge that I'm pointing at now across Loft Crag and Thorn Crag and then back down into Stickle Gill Car Park To the left of me on the way up Pike of Stickle you'll find this notoriously steep scree chute about 300 yards down there you'll find the axe factory or the axe cave prehistoric <laughs> cave chipped out by Stone Age man for flint to make axes I was going to go down there but don't fancy that in these conditions so I think we'll come back and do that in the summer in the meantime we'll do an out and back onto Pike of Stickle Here's the rock star Pike of Stickle Summit 709 metres It's a Wainwright a Burkitt a Hewitt and a Nuttall and there's the can We're going to head back down the same way we came up We're back down past the Axe Factory Scree Chute Just down there And heading back towards Loft Crag
Bluff Crag Summit. It's a Wainwright, Burkitt, and a Nuttall. And there's the summit. This incidentally was Tracy's final Wainwright and also the Rockstars a few years back. Head down there to Thorncrag. Well, as you can see, the weather has cleared now for us. We've got the drone up for a little bit, but it's soon coming back in. You can clearly see over the valley now, looking over at Piker Blisco. Behind Piker Blisco, you can just see swirl hours and great cars. Weather limb to the left of that, just down here, we've got the band where we came down last week. And in the bottom here, the green fields of Langdale. We're going to drop down off Loft Crag and pass over the summit of Thorn Crag, this little fell there. Behind Thorn Crag is Harriston Stickle, where we were earlier. Thorn Crag Summit. It's a Burkitt. You can see the route now behind us. In fact, as we pan round, we've got an even better view of Piker Blisco now, and you can even see Bowfell and the Crinkle Crags. And then back behind us, we've got Loft Crag, where we just came from. And then right round to our right, Harrison Stickle. We're going to drop into Dungeon Gill. So we've just came down off Thorn Crag, which is over there. Dropped down to the head of Dungeon Gill, crossed the gill, and now we're heading down with Dungeon Gill to our right, just there. You 
this path's a bit on the edge as you can see it's a bit steep off my right hand side into Dungeon Gill there The path runs all the way down to this crag at the end which is called Pai Khao I think it's a singe We've actually been to the summit, there's a little cairn on the top as you can see But we're going to drop down that path just underneath it And back down to the road and Sticklegill car park That's Side Pike and Lingmore Fell straight ahead of us Thorn Crag where we were earlier behind us it's an absolute beautiful day now the sun's even warm unbelievable really to think what the weather was like earlier this was the weather we were promised but it came a bit late but thankfully we've managed to get the best of it still When you hit Paikau, the path runs down to the right of it but we're going to head up onto the summit of it because there's a fantastic view down Langdale we're going to go and have a look at it Paikau summit, 396 metres it's got a cracking little summit look at this and what a view down Langdale there you go look at that for a nice little summit Langdale There's our destination below us, the new Dungeon Gill Hotel and Sticklegill Car Park. We're not too far away from the car park now, so I'm going to wrap my video up and say thank you for watching. It's been a strange day today, it's been a three seasons day. We had an absolute glorious sunrise then almost blizzard conditions and then an absolute beautiful afternoon so we made the best of it, we haven't rushed so it's thank you from me and it's thank you from the Rockstar